Alfred. Yes, Johnson. Pass me that spanner there. It's on the bonnet. Sure, sure. Hey, can you manage a little? Chris, didn't I tell you? This bag of mine is number one again. Uh, that's good news, my Johnson. That's really good news. I've been going for regular checkups at the clinic. There's a lady there, a physio what what? Uh, physiotherapist. Yes. She told me how to look after it. Rub the area that is sore with an ointment she gave me. And not carry or lift anything that is too heavy. But then I visited that Sangoma in C-section. You know the one? Oh, must be terrible. Yeah, yeah, it's good. But tell me, how can you use the clinic and uh, the Sangoma at the same time? Because they work well together. For me at least, they complement one another. The clinic is very, very important because they guide me and tell me what medicines to take and how to look after my friends. So why do you still go to the sun? Because my family members have always been traditionally proud of our traditions. So seeing a Sangoma is part of who we are. <laughs> well, I'm glad you are back to your old self again. <laughs> Although you may consult sangomas, homeopaths, or any other alternative healers, your treatment must be complementary to the medication and treatment received from a doctor at a clinic or hospital. Your health is your responsibility. At the Medical Knowledge Institute, we are committed to improving the quality of health care through education and public health programs. For more information, call our Health Information Center at Bapumelele on 021-361-8968. That's 021-361-8968. The Medical Knowledge Institute. Prevention through education. <laughs>